Start With Why by Simon Sinek is a transformative book that delves deep into the concept of purpose and its profound impact on leadership, organizations, and individuals. At its core, the book challenges us to uncover the why behind what we do, urging us to align our actions and decisions with a clear sense of purpose. In this video, we'll explore the key insights from Start With Why and understand how Cynic's Golden Circle Framework can help us unlock the power of purpose. Before we begin, please like and subscribe to our channel. Chapter 1. The Golden Circle – Why, How, What Simon Sinek's Start With Why introduces the Golden Circle, a powerful framework that challenges conventional thinking about leadership and communication. At its core lies the question of why, the profound purpose and belief that drive individuals and organizations. Surrounding the core, why, are the how and what. While most entities focus on the what, the products, services, or goals they offer. Sinek argues that truly influential leaders and organizations begin with the why. This means having a crystal clear understanding of their underlying purpose and values. By embracing this golden circle concept and starting with why, leaders can inspire deep loyalty and commitment from their teams and customers, forging a more meaningful and enduring connection with those they aim to influence. Chapter 2. The Law of Diffusion of Innovation in Start With Why by Simon Sinek, the chapter on the law of diffusion of innovation sheds light on a fundamental principle governing the spread of ideas, products, and movements in society. Sinek introduces the law of diffusion of innovation as a framework that explains how innovation is adopted by different segments of the population. He asserts that most people fall into distinct categories based on their willingness to embrace new ideas, ranging from innovators to early majority and beyond. Cynic's central argument is that influential leaders and organizations, those who start with why, have the ability to appeal to the early adopters and the innovators by focusing on their underlying purpose and belief. By doing so, they create a ripple effect that gradually reaches the broader population, including the risk-averse early majority. This insight underscores the idea that those who lead with a compelling why are more likely to inspire change and drive widespread adoption of their ideas or products, ultimately achieving long-term success and influence. Understanding the dynamics of the law of diffusion of innovation is pivotal for anyone seeking to make a lasting impact in their field, as it provides a roadmap for effectively reaching and engaging different segments of the population based on their varying attitudes toward change and innovation. Chapter 3. The Anatomy of a Why Chapter 3 of Start With Why by Simon Sinek, titled The Anatomy of a Why, takes readers deep into the core elements that constitute a compelling and effective why. Sinek argues that a powerful why statement is one that is clear, concise, and deeply inspirational. It transcends mere statements of products, services, or goals and resonates with the hearts and minds of individuals. Cynic provides tangible examples, such as Apple, to illustrate how successful organizations start with a well-defined why that goes beyond profit and connects with the deeply held values and beliefs of their customers. He dissects these examples, showing how their why statements are simple yet profound, creating an emotional connection that inspires loyalty and commitment. This chapter serves as a practical guide for readers offering insights on how to craft their own why statements that resonate with authenticity and have the potential to inspire meaningful change and lasting connections with their audience. It underscores the idea that a well-articulated why is not just a marketing tactic, but a powerful force that shapes an organization's culture and influences its impact on the world. Chapter 4. The Origins of Why In Start With Why by Simon Sinek, the chapter titled The Origins of Why delves into the origins of a compelling why. Cynic suggests that a genuine and impactful why often has its roots in personal experiences, values, or beliefs. He encourages individuals and organizations to embark on a journey of self-discovery to uncover the source of their purpose. By understanding the genesis of their why, people can articulate it more authentically and passionately. Cynic's narrative illustrates how some of the most influential leaders and organizations, 
from Martin Luther King Jr. to Apple Incorporated, have drawn upon their own experiences and deeply held beliefs to craft powerful why statements. This chapter serves as an invitation for readers to explore their own stories and histories, recognizing that the most authentic and resonant why often emerges from personal truths. It underscores the idea that purpose is not something manufactured, but something discovered within ourselves, waiting to be expressed in a way that inspires change and connection. Chapter 5. Leading with Why In Start With Why by Simon Sinek, the chapter Leading with Why is a pivotal section that provides practical guidance on how leaders can implement the Start With Why philosophy within their organizations. Sinek emphasizes the importance of aligning teams around a shared sense of purpose and belief, creating a culture where everyone understands and resonates with the why. He discusses the significance of transparent and authentic communication, as well as the role of trust and collaboration in fostering a motivated and engaged workforce. By leading with why, leaders can inspire loyalty, innovation, and commitment among their teams, ultimately driving not only organizational success, but also personal fulfillment for everyone involved. This chapter serves as a blueprint for leaders who seek to transform their leadership style and create a workplace culture that thrives on purpose-driven principles. Chapter 6. The Celery Test In Start With Why by Simon Sinek, the concept of the celery test is introduced as a memorable analogy that highlights the importance of effectively communicating one's why. Much like trying a new, unfamiliar food, people tend to be cautious when encountering new ideas, products, or messages. Leaders in organizations that can clearly and authentically articulate their why are more likely to pass the celery test, making it easy for others to understand and embrace their purpose. Cynic's point is that when people immediately grasp the why behind the cause or product, trust is established and engagement is fostered. This concept underscores the importance of clear and compelling communication to inspire trust and commitment in others, whether it's for a business, a social cause, or personal relationships. Chapter 7. How to Rally Those Who Believe In Start With Why by Simon Sinek, the chapter on how to rally those who believe offers valuable strategies for leaders to harness the support and enthusiasm of individuals who share their why. Sinek emphasizes the significance of building a community of believers who can champion the cause and help spread the message. By creating a sense of belonging and purpose within this community, leaders can cultivate a dedicated following that is motivated by shared values and beliefs. Sinek provides practical insights on how to effectively communicate the why and engage these believers, empowering them to become advocates and drivers of change. This chapter serves as a guide for leaders seeking to transform supporters into active participants who can amplify the impact of their cause or vision, demonstrating the power of a united and purpose-driven community. Chapter 8. The Biggest Challenge is Success In Start With Why by Simon Sinek, the chapter titled The Biggest Challenge is Success explores the unique challenges that arise when individuals or organizations achieve significant success. Cynic highlights that success can sometimes lead to complacency or a loss of focus on the original why that drove that success. It can be tempting to shift priorities, lose sight of core values, or become risk-averse. However, Cynic argues that the most successful entities are those that continually reinforce and revisit their why, even in the face of triumph. By maintaining a strong sense of purpose and continuously aligning actions with that purpose, Individuals and organizations can navigate the challenges of success, ensuring that they stay true to their original mission and continue to inspire and lead effectively. This chapter serves as a reminder that success should not be a reason to abandon one's why, but rather an opportunity to reinforce it and drive meaningful, enduring impact. Conclusion Embracing the Power of Purpose In the conclusion of Start With Why by Simon Sinek, Aptly titled, Embracing the Power of Purpose, Cynic underscores the transformative potential of purpose in both personal and professional life. He leaves readers with a resounding message. When individuals and organizations embrace their why, their profound sense of purpose and belief, they can inspire others, ignite change, and lead with authenticity. Cynic's book is not just a call to action, but a roadmap for harnessing the life-altering power of purpose. Whether you are a leader, an entrepreneur, or an individual seeking meaning and direction, 
Start with why challenges you to discover your why, live it, and share it with the world. It is a timeless reminder that purpose is the cornerstone of meaningful and enduring success, and it invites us all to embark on a journey to lead and live with a clear sense of purpose and conviction. That's all for today's video. What are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comment section below. And make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.